Okay, now we're taking a look at division involving quotients with intermediate zeros. So we're dividing and intermediate zeros. The example problem that we have here does have that intermediate zero. It's got that 20, it's got that zero in there. So it's written left to right, but we want to write it for long division. I mean, if we're gonna solve this thing, we need to write it this way. 50 goes into 20,447. Uh, notice that the order switches when we go from this format to long division. We have to put the 5 actually out in front. So we're starting this division, and we notice that we're being asked to find the quotient and the remainder. So I'll show you how we'll find each one of those we start by saying okay five goes into and we don't have to start with the entire thing we start one digit two digit and keep expanding uh first is the two five goes into two well five doesn't go into two because five's bigger than two so we have to go to the next digit and we have 20 now so we say five goes into 20 and that does five does go into 20 it goes into 20 four times and we know that the next step is to multiply the 4 and the 5. So when we multiply the 4 and the 5, that gives us 20. And when we subtract, the 20s cancel. This gives us 0, which normally we, we like to end up with 0 kind of as our remainder. But we're not done because we still got those other three digits out there, those 4s and the 7. So this is an intermediate step here where we did end up with 0, but we need to bring that next digit down, 4. And 0, 4, or just 4. Uh, the next question is, does 5 go into this 4? And no, 5 does not go into 4 because, again, 5 is bigger than 4, so it goes into it 0 times. Notice that that 0 went right above the 4 that we just brought down. So now, 0 times the 5 it gives us 0. So we're going to have to multiply that. We get 0, and we're going to subtract. Again, we've got 4 minus 0 gives us just 4. So we keep going, and we want to keep going until we get to the end. i got to bring down that next 4. And this time we asked ourselves, does 5 go into 44? Yes. Now we do have something. 5 does go into 44. It goes into that 8 times because 8 times 5 gives us 40. And when I subtract those two, I get 4. And I'm not done yet because there is one more digit that I need to bring down. I need to bring down that 7. So I ask myself once again, does 5 go into 47? And yes, it does. It goes into it 9 times, because 9 times 5 is 45. And we always have to subtract that step. And so I've ended up with 2, but now I'm done with the problem because there are no more digits for me to bring down. I've brought down the last one, the 7. So this number along the top, this 4,000, and 89, that is our quotient. So we've got the quotient, and we also need the remainder. The remainder is the part that we have left, and whenever we had followed all of our steps there, we had the two left. So the quotient is that number at the top, 4,089, and the remainder is two.